Over a century ago, a German doctor called Alice Alzheimer spotted anomalies in brain sections of a patient with dementia. Ever since, people have been studying the strange plagues and tangles that he saw, in the hope that we could one day understand and cure for what is now known as Alzheimer's disease. Plagues or insoluble deposits of a peptide called amyloid beta or A-beta are formed. When a protein called amyloid precursor protein is sequentially cleared by two enzymes, beat-up and gamma secretaries, other molecules are generated by this cleavage and may play a role in the disease. But A-beta is the main culprit. A beta tends to misfold and become sticky. Eventually, they clump together to form soluble oligomers. Some of these aggregate into large insoluble fibrils that deposit in the brain as plagues. The oligomers come in several forms or species, we don't know exactly which species is toxic, but research shows that they can communicate and plasticity at synapses, says this could be what stops the brain from forming or retrieving memories. Neurons aren't the only cells affected in Alzheimer's disease. Astrocytes and microglia also play a role. Microglia are immune cells that clear out waste and improve synapses. During development, microglia take up a beta. But they also get activated by triggering the release of inflammatory cytokines that can damage neurons. The microglia also start to remove synapses by phagocytosis. As synapses start to malfunction and neurons die, abnormal patterns of activity emerge, and eventually the brain can't process and store information properly. Another key feature of Alzheimer's disease is neurodegeneration. Neuronal death and damage are triggered by A-beta. But some of the app's effects seem to be mediated by another protein seen in the brains of patients, tau, a component of tangles. In a healthy neuron, molecules are carried along the axon on a series of trucks made of microtubules and stabilized by tau. But in Alzheimer's disease, tau is modified, causing it to dissociate from the microtubules, adopt an abnormal shape, and move from the apexes onto the cell body. Like a beta, tau comes in a variety of forms and we don't know which ones contribute to the disease. This form either remains soluble or sticks together in deposits as the tangles that Dr. Alzheimer saw. Eventually, these processes kill the neurons. Another problem seen in animal models, is that misfolded tau proteins can spread across synapses into healthy neurons, where they make healthy tau proteins start to misfold, spreading pathology across the brain. The pattern of spreading through the different brain regions matches the changing symptoms from early to late stages of Alzheimer's disease. This pattern also reflects how certain neurons are more vulnerable than others to die. Despite these advances in our understanding of Alzheimer's disease, no cure exists. While drugs are being developed to target amyloid beta or tau, it's unclear whether they will eventually be successful in treating the disease. There's only one certainty, continue support for basic and clinical research enables us one day to diagnose and treat this devastating condition. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support us for more content, thank you.